And then at the very end, I'm going to give you one of these. Okay? Mm -hmm. That was a practice one. You just go ahead and relax there. <laughs> What's going on YouTube family? Hey, today's an exciting day. We have at least 60, 70 patients on the books today. And I'm gonna talk about disc degeneration, DDD. That stands for degenerative disc disease. We're gonna come over here to these models and look at this because a lot of times we get patients and they're coming in from different types of doctors and they're saying, hey, my doctor said I have degenerative disc. Well, what the heck does that mean? A normal spine, you have the vertebrae here and the disc is very fat and thick. That acts as, as a wonderful shock absorber between the vertebrae. As your spine starts to degenerate and as the disc starts to desiccate, that word means gets thin, there's pressure on the nerve here. And then as you walk down the phases, as the disc gets thinner, the pressure on the nerve gets much worse. Now, these nerves are going to all of your organs. They're going to all of your body parts, all right? So what happens is when you get pressure on a nerve, the organs don't work as well. Your legs don't work as well. Your hands don't work as well. Then you get things like headaches, sciatica, things like that. So when you're this far advanced in what's called degenerative disc disease, that's irreparable. That word means you, you can't fix it. So you never want to wait until you're this far down into the degeneration. You ready for some amazing adjustments? Yes, always. Oh, Is that it all the way out? Is that it all the way out? Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. What's up, YouTube family? Hope you're doing great. So the most common question we get is, what is the most common ailment chiropractors see? Well, I can tell you right now, number one is low back pain. Why do we have low back pain as we get older, sometimes younger? It's like, why do we get low back, pain, low back pain at all? Well, here's the deal, guys. And I say this to all my patients. You guys have heard me say this before. Structure dictates function. So structurally, your lumbar spine, this is your low back. You have five lumbar vertebrae, one, two, three, four, five. This arch should be 38 degrees. What happens is when you lose that arch, the vertebrae come out of position and they pinch and damage these yellow things right here. Those are the nerve roots, okay? So when your structure becomes aberrant or out of line, these nerves start to get pinched and that's gonna elicit a pain response. And that's why we get, that's why a lot of our patients have low back pain. Did you know that over 80% of people will have low back pain at least once or twice in their life? That's a huge percentage, okay? So again, structure dictates function. So when we take the x-ray and we find out what the spine looks like structurally, we adjust those segments. They're out of position, pinching the nerves. We restore the arch of the lumbar spine and the patient gets better. But of course that takes time. You don't degenerate over you know two days or three days. We degenerate as we get older, we get more um, sedative in our, um, in our lifestyles and we start to lose the structure. So again, structure dictates function. That's how we can eliminate back pain by restoring the structure and getting the vertebrae back in their proper position and taking the pressure off the nerves. And then at the very end, I'm gonna give you one of these, okay? Mm -hmm. That was a practice one. Just go ahead and relax there. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Dr. Baker. So Mike uh, has been a long time patient. Mike, how long have you been a patient? Since 1994. Since 1994. And Mike actually lost his leg in a uh, motorcycle accident. So I'm actually going to adjust his hip by actually tractioning out on the prosthetic device here and tractioning out. And even with a prosthetic leg, Mike still gets benefit from chiropractic care. So check this out, everybody. Good, and that adjusted his hip. And Mike, how'd that feel? Good. Excellent, very good. Thank you. So this is the famous Y strap adjustment. Okay, check, go ahead and lift up your head. We're gonna put you in the harness. We're gonna strap on the harness. We're gonna fasten it up. So check, you're gonna hold on with your hands to the side of the table, relaxing the spine. I'm going to take the Y strap and we're gonna relax and extend the muscles, tendons, and ligaments. 
And when I feel Chet is relaxed, I'm gonna give them a quick impulse like that. And that's gonna adjust and decompress the cervical spine. And <laughs> oh, oh, feels oh, great. Oh. How's that feel, Chet? Excellent. How would you describe it? Does it take pressure off? It feels like I, actually my spine grew an inch. Definitely a uh, pressure released. Awesome. Hey, Chet, how tall are you? I'm, well, now I'm probably six foot. Did you know that your nervous system controls everything? So this is your brain, and this is your spinal cord, and look at all the branches that go to your lungs, your heart, your spleen, your pancreas, your stomach, the intestines. So all the information travels from the brain, down the spinal cord, across all those nerve pathways. So as your chiropractor, as your chiropractors, our job is to determine where you have these pinching of the nerves called a subluxation, and then we put you in a program to get you better. Does it make sense? I bet it does. What's up, Craig? How you doing? So what's up with these headaches, man? They're finally going away after five years. Five years of headaches every day? Uh, yep, woke up with it every day. And what'd you do to fix that? Um, been to probably a dozen different doctors and another chiropractor and finally Dr. Baker fixed it. How did, how did you go through the doctors and different chiropractors? What did Dr. Yeah, Baker do different? I don't know, he's just doing everything <laughs> right, I guess. But you do know is after you went to Dr. Baker, the headache was noticeably like not there anymore. Oh yeah. And you yep. noticed that? Yep. It was like noticeable? Yep. Like definitely over this weekend, so after last week, been good. That's awesome. How many times do you do it per week? Uh, I'm doing three right now. Did the medicine ever help you or what? No, did all kinds of stuff, even like Botox injections and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, none really even helped. I just had a patient yesterday. They went to another chiropractor and they said, Doc, I went to another chiropractor. They didn't do x-rays. They didn't do the nerve scan. They didn't do the balance scales. I'm like, time out. How can you adjust somebody's spine without having x-rays? That's the blueprint that tells us exactly where you need to adjust it. Do not see a chiropractor that doesn't take x-rays. Let's go, guys. Let's have a great afternoon. Let's do this. Awesome. This is the fun one. You bought this one. <laughs> So Vicky, tell everybody how much better you've got since you've been a patient. Well, I can walk now. Uh-huh. I'm not limping and when I walk in the door. And when we first met, you could barely walk. No, I you could had barely a limp. walk. I had a limp. Everything was burning on the left side. It wasn't just hurting and painful. It was also burning. Yes. All of that is now mostly gone. It's like 90, 90%, 95% gone. So. See, what happens is when you have a pinched static nerve, mm -hmm. the pinch, the nerve starts here in your back. It goes all the way down your legs, so when you first came in here, mm -hmm. you have classic sciatic symptoms, which are numbness, it was awful. tingling, burning, mm -hmm. spasms, giveaway weakness. You had all those. I did. Since we, we've been adjusting you, we've taken the pressure off that lower L5 vertebrae, and you're starting to get better. I am. Isn't that I'm exciting? Getting better. She's getting better. <laughs> She's a great patient. Vicky, what do you like about coming here? Tell our YouTube audience. What well, I like, like your personality. Well, thank one. you. I appreciate that. I like your personality. You're fun. I told you that, Vicky. Thank you. You're welcome. You always make me feel welcome, and you always Aww. make me feel happy to be here. Well, thank you, Vicky. That's a really nice for you to say. Well, you've always been a pleasure to treat, and you are a great patient. Thank you. And more importantly, we're getting you better. I am. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Tell everybody how that feels, Vicki. Better. Yes. So this is tensing up because I actually missed Tuesday this week. Uh -oh. So I really was needing uh -huh. to be here today and you can tell it right away. Yeah. What happens when you miss, Vicki? My neck starts to hurt <laughs> exactly. and my back starts to hurt. <laughs> exactly. And I start to limp. Uh-huh. And I so don't what's the solution? Come to see you. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, literally when I walked in here the first time, this was so bad. It's just burning but I felt like I was starting to walk like I was just, you know, crippled. So it made a real big difference to me. So I really appreciate you, Dr. Baker. <laughs> so this is your second visit. What'd you think about your first visit, Angie? Good. Great. What'd you like about it? I felt better when I left. Absolutely. So we're gonna repeat the exact same process, okay? okay. We're gonna continue the process of adjusting your spine. It's gonna basically take the pressure off of those nerves that are pinched choked and irritated. As we do that, your body's gonna start to function and heal a little bit, okay? You excited to get better? Yes. Let's do this. As you and I talked about yesterday, 
I'm gonna adjust at the apex of this curve right here, this high point, okay? And then when I tell you, you're gonna take a deep breath in, you let it all the way out, and you're gonna feel a thrust into the apex of the high point of that curve like that, okay? okay. Right there. Good job, perfect. Now, you had that bump right here, okay? So I'm gonna lower this headpiece right here, perfect. Now I see a motorcycle on your shirt. Do you ride motorcycles, Angie? I'm going to get my chance. Are you? Congratulations. <laughs> Maybe you and I can go riding together. Exactly. I'm a big motorcycle guy. Okay, take a deep breath there, Angie. All the way out and right there. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna put my hand on that lower vertebrae, okay? That's pinching. Take a deep breath all the way out. You're gonna feel pressure right there. Now when you do get your temps, what type of motorcycle are you gonna buy? How about a pink Harley? That'd be pink cool. Harley. Yeah. <laughs> Take a big breath in on him. Good relax. And all right, jump your shoulders. That's a lot. Yeah. All right, good. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's the best. That is the good stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, good seeing you, my man. What's going on, YouTube family? I want to um, basically demonstrate this machine right here. This is called a biplate, and this is done after each adjustment. And what the biplate does is it recruits the muscles of the spine, what are called the erector spinae muscles, and it helps cement those adjustments in. So by uh, recruiting the muscles and making them tighter, it'll help hold the adjustment. So a couple other benefits of uh, vibration therapy for your body is number one, it increases your blood and lymphatic flow increases nerve flow, and it actually increase your immune response. So if you're sick or feeling stuffy, this is a great uh, modality to help boost your immune system. Left shoulder rotated way back. Take a big breath in here, let it all the way out there, and then drop those shoulders. No, that was amazing. Okay. There you go, man. There you go, wonderful. There you go, awesome. <laughs> Hey YouTube family, this is one of my favorite studies on the efficacy of chiropractic in your overall health. This was a seven year study, and this seven year study proved that if your chiropractor is your PCP, which is your primary care provider, these things are gonna happen to you as a patient. Number one, 60% less hospital admissions. That means you're gonna stay out of the hospital 60% less than the normal population. That's a huge deal. Number two, you have 59% less days in the hospital. Who wants to lay up in the hospital? You, I mean, nothing happens good in the hospital, of course, with your productivity. Third thing is your 62% less patient surgeries. If I'm your chiropractor and I'm your PCP, you're gonna have 62% less surgeries. And lastly, 85% less pharmaceutical costs, which is huge because every pharmaceutical agent or pill that you put in your body has a side effect. So if we can reduce that number by 85%, that's a huge deal. There. Wonderful. Good. Right. How was your day, sir? How about you? Great. Big breath in. All the way out. There you go. Awesome on your side. Relax. Yeah. That was easy. That was amazing. Left your left shoulder. All right, Ryan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to traction out your spine a couple times here, okay? okay. And then on the third traction, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you an impulse, mm -hmm. and it's going to decompress your entire spine from the occiput all the way to the low back. Let's Sound good? It. You ready for it? I'm excited. You know what? I'm excited. <laughs> here we go. Let's do some traction here. Good, just nice and easy. Hold it a little bit. Good, awesome. I'm gonna give you a few extra tractions here, okay, Ryan? Awesome, good, <clears throat> there you go. Whoa, oh my gosh. That pulled me in next Tuesday. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that amazing? That was Where awesome. Where did you feel it the most? Uh, I would say occipital, yeah. uh, all the way down into, I would say T5, T6. Yeah, okay, gotcha, awesome. Cool, amazing. right on, there you go, my man. That was so good. Yeah, I, I gave it to you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put some force into that. Oh, so good. Good.
Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Accelerated Health. Now, make sure you guys do the four things. You gotta comment, like, subscribe, and then last, hit that notification bell. See you next time.